week four of the art course that I am taking is about stealing like an artist. Stealing like an artist means drawing inspiration from other artists. And all artists do this. We have continued to do this through the centuries. We study previous artists and other creatives work and we try out some of their techniques, their colors, something that they have tried and we try it out in our work and we decide do we like it or do we not like it. So that's the assignment that I get to do today. I get to look at an artist or an, two artists work and I'm going to select elements from how they work or their process or their colors and I am then going to try them out and see what I think, see how I feel about them, see if I want to tweak them to make them more like me or discard them and try something else. So I have selected two artists. I have first selected Martha Jungworth and she's an Australian artist. She has been painting for decades. She was born in 1940 and she's still making work today. Um, and I really, really love her very vivid, vivid use of color. She uses fleshy pinks and blood reds and these bruised magentas and she puts them together so beautifully. But she's also very passionate in her expression of marks. And um, she really uses very skeletal uh, uh, marks on a page. She doesn't tend to fill the painting. She uh, wants space is just as important as the marks and the color. And I really, really admire that. And I want to give that a go. The colors is right in my wheelhouse anyways. So um, that will be fun to play with that a little bit more and a little bit deeper, but playing with um, making uh, more skeletal marks and having more space in a painting. The other artist I chose is British artist Lewis Noble and what I really love about his work is when he goes out to do landscape paintings and sketches he brings it back into the studio and then uh, tears it up and rearranges the painting um, but doesn't really add any more paint to it maybe a few marks with an oil pastel but it's really a rearranging of shapes to create a new image. So I really want to try that out. And um, that's a lot easier to do on paper than on canvas. So I'm going to be taking both of those and I'm going to kind of try out some of those elements uh, in my week four assignment and see what I think. So before I get started on my piece of paper here, I want to mix up some of the colors that they mentioned that Martha Jungworth really likes to work in. Uh, she uses very vibrant, very vivid colors, and a lot of it is this sort of fleshy pink, um, a blood red, so I have a pyrrole red. I'm going to see what I think about that or if I'm going to add a, a, a quin red to that. I have a quinacrinone magenta, which they talk about a bruised magenta, so I'm actually going to do a little color mixing here and see if I add a little bit of burnt umber if that... Uh, gives us a little bit more of a darker bruise. I probably don't need a lot. Um, so we're gonna give that a go. Before I add it all into this here, I want to see if it will do it. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit here and um, give that a try. Ah, yep, that's what I thought. So instead of using a black, which I knew would give it more gray tones, I'm wanting to add that brown, which darkens up the red. Um, and it's all about how much of each color do you need. So I don't need a lot of brown to uh, use my left hand, but to get, ooh, yeah. That could be, that could be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna add some brown into here. So I'm not just working straight magenta. Give just a little bit of that burnt brown look. 
And I like that. They do mention a sort of blood red. So um, I'm going to go and try this one. I'm just going to take it right out of the tube and see what I think. Actually, a little bit more orange. I do like that mixed in there. That's the first time I've played around with these sort of magentas and reds together. So I might try the other red that I'm thinking. That is a little bit more pink. So that's that Quinn, that Quinn color. Um, no, I actually like the, the, I think it's Pyrrole red. I like that better. This almost reminds me of a lipstick um, color. Not bad though. Probably mix that in. So, all right, I'm going to go back to the other one. That. And I've got the portrait pink, which I'm going to use as well. She uses. And I'm going to use a different uh, brush with that just to give me a different mark. So I've got a palette knife. I've got that sort of brush in there. So I'm going to do multiples of these because the next step I want to do from Lewis Noble is actually ripping them up and reassembling. So I'm going to do multiples of these and that way I can experiment with that as well and experimenting with uh, Martha's also technique of using really skeletal marks um, and using more white space. So I want to give that a go.
I can help you get into my brain, what I'm thinking right now is how to balance color and space. So I'm trying to think about Martha's. Now she's she's her own artist. She's got her own ways of thinking, but how how do I think like Martha? How do I think, okay, I'm not wanting to fill this whole thing, which means colors get stacked, shapes get stacked. And as they get stacked and mixed in here, new colors emerge. Things happen that wouldn't before. So thinking like Martha, thinking like Martha.